So Matt, we all know that candidates apply to many jobs. They do many interviews. A lot of time, there'll be some rejection. So what can they learn from this rejection? And is it okay to ask for a feedback from the recruiter or the hiring manager so that they can learn and do better in the next interview? Yeah, it's an inevitable part of the job search process. There's going to be a rejection in almost every case. And so the first thing I like to do is I say, let's learn from that experience. The first thing that I want to do if I come out of a a, a job interview, whether I I am moving forward in the process or not, is is learn and feel, how did that feel? Did I feel I was as prepared as I should have been? Did they give me any questions I wasn't expecting? Uh, How did I feel about what I learned about the organization? I may fire them as a prospective employer before they even get a chance to invite me back for the next round because I might have felt it, it wasn't a good fit. But then the second bit is that if, you, if you're told that you're not gonna be moving forward in the process, it's absolutely appropriate to try to ask for, can I get some feedback as to where uh, you determined that I wasn't a great fit? I'd like to understand that. And I'd like to develop my own self-awareness and learn for next time. Yeah. Now they're not required to answer you, of course, but yes. you'll never find out if you don't ask. So I yeah. think if you can be polite about it, make it very easy for them to respond. You don't wanna ask big open-ended questions mm-hmm. or say, can I get on the phone with you? And I wanna come in and talk to you about it or get on a Zoom and chat. Now, those things are too heavy. You know, They've yeah. made their decision, they're moving on. But if you can make it easy to get some feedback, it's perfectly uh, fine to ask. You may not get it, but it's worth asking. Uh-huh. And the last thing I'd say is that you know, sometimes when you don't get the job, it's mm-hmm. actually a little bit of, you know, I hate to say a blessing in disguise. <laughs> you don't know what would have happened yeah. if you had gotten a job and a place wasn't a great fit. It probably wasn't going to be a great experience for you anyway. And the final thing I say is that thankfully with jobs, it only takes one. Yes. So yes. just get right back in it, put your mindset back on, be positive and just go to the next interview that much better prepared for it. Yeah, as you mentioned, mindset is very important and having curiosity, the learning mindset is very important. You're learning yourself and you can do better in the next interview. Exactly. Uh, Thank you for those great tips, Matt. Uh, And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of how to respond to rejection, please leave comments below and tune in tomorrow for my final question with Matt.